During this Hispanic Heritage Month, we're actually taking a closer look at one of the fastest growing communities in our state. And so, Lauren, there's a concern that Latino teens are underrepresented when it comes to seeking a college degree. There are now efforts to turn that tide. This big room is the first stop on the road to increase the number of Hoosiers who are Latino to enroll in a college program. But how big are you dreaming? Um, with everything I want to do, pretty big. Hopefully I graduate as a CNA and go to, for, to be a paramedic. Okay. After that, I want to become a firefighter and then chief of the station. The Indiana Latino Institute hosts this education summit and college fair every year. Without education, we're limiting, we're b building barriers for our young generation to achieve and to contribute to society. For the first time this year, the group went beyond Indianapolis, holding similar events in South Bend and Evansville, going from 2,000 to 4,000 students with sessions from how to apply to college to how to pay for it. Just be aware that you are conscious of anything that you may be signing, everything, anything that you may be looking at in your financial award letter. Once the workshops are over, now these are things on the application that are going to be a bit more fluid. Students came into this room to be with 46 colleges and universities and businesses also looking to hire. The conference comes as the number of Latinos in Indiana is on the rise, while the number of college-bound Latino teens has dropped. In 2019, 49% headed to college. That's down to 44% in 2020. The figures both well below the statewide college rate of 53 percent. There's possibilities out there that there's no obstacles, no limitations. Language is not a barrier. If they want to dream high, they can dream high and even higher. I hear my sisters talking about colleges and all that, and they inspired me to do great, even though I know I'm a little messy, but I try to always prosper and be a good kid and get good grades. Now the work begins getting the people interested from this room to a college classroom. The Indiana Latino Institute has recently partnered with a number of public and private colleges across the state to make millions of dollars available for academic scholarships. Overall, the Indiana Commission for Higher Education is tracking all of these numbers. It says that family wealth plays a major role if a child will go to college.